So in today's video, we want to learn something about the liver. There's a very big confusion that people think about the liver. People think that the liver is filled with toxins. But uh, the liver is actually a filter. It doesn't store poisons, neither does it store toxins. And of course, we are also going to be learning about some other, you know, um, food products that can actually enhance the activity of the liver, uh, even as it's able to perform its function in the human body, which is very important. All right, and so what makes the liver to become a filter is that um, it converts poisons or toxins into harmless particles, and of course, that is called the bowel transformation. And so overall, we are looking at these particles, which are fat soluble in the liver. And there are certain enzymes in the liver that are going to transform this fat soluble substance into water soluble substance. Of course, that is going to help it to be, you know, taken out of the liver. But we ask ourselves, where are these substances coming from? Like I said, those are fat soluble particles that is um, secondhand smoking, you know, in environments, um, pesticides, drugs that we take. Of course, we know that drug is a potential poison. So um, these fat soluble substances that the drug will produce or the drug will give to the liver, the liver has an enzyme that is able to convert these um, fat soluble particles into water soluble particles and that aids in its you know, excretion. And so um, getting to know this fundamental about the liver, it's really going to help us in our quest of engineering the liver to be able to perform its function. I already said there are certain enzymes in the liver that are produced by the liver cells and that is going to convert um, the fat soluble particles into water soluble particles. And of course, that is what uh, is termed as the phase one and the phase two. Because of time, we wouldn't really want to go into phase one and the phase two, even in today's presentation. The phase one and the phase two um, detoxification. So it all gets eliminated through the bowel duct with the help of the bowel in the human body. So these enzymes are actually going to help to decrease the half-life of the chemicals that I talked about that could be I mean, gotten from secondhand smoking and other pesticides from the environment. And so um, they are also going to decrease the accumulation of these chemicals. These enzymes will also neutralize the accumulation of chemicals in your body to you know, neutralize the effect of drugs and other poisons that are taken into the body. This is a tail part of the presentation. We want to look at how we can boost up these enzymes that is able to convert fat soluble particles into water soluble particles for easy excretion with the help of the bowel through the bowel duct. And so we'll be talking about um, the consumption of cruciferous vegetables. The consumption of cruciferous vegetables is going to help to increase this enzyme. And when these enzymes are increased in the body, or sorry, in the liver specifically, it is going to help in the uh, conversion process that is um, from fat soluble particles to water soluble particles for, um, for easy um, excretion. But other vegetables like carrots, celery, parsley, they don't stimulate these enzymes. It doesn't mean that carrots, um, celery, and parsley, they are not good, no. So instead of believing that the liver stores toxins or is filled with toxins or, and other poisons, we have to unlearn that and we have to believe and know that the liver stores vitamin B12, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, iron, copper, and folic acid. And so the liver doesn't store toxins. If your liver is probably storing toxins, then it means that there's a problem with your liver. And of course, you would have to check the things I talked about um, in a way to increase the enzyme and also um, to reduce the toxicity, even as I talked about these two kind of, um, I, mean, I mean, vegetables. And it's really going to help. Thank you so much for making time to watch me on this channel. It's a pleasure to have you to watch me. And if you like this, you know, content, kindly subscribe to this channel. And then you can share this video 
you can like and also put your comments below. Hope to see you same time next week. Bye-bye.